Lady Masako, do you have news of your family's killers? On the list we found, Sada was at the top. He's the head man of Kuta Farnstead. Kuta's people served your clan. Why would he turn against you? Because he is an ungrateful traitor. My husband appointed Sadao as head man, and he repaid that kindness with bloodshed. I learned he fled Kuta the night my family was murdered. He must have heard you survived. Sadao is a deceitful snake. But his brother, Hachi, is a fool. He just passed by the temple carting food for the refugees. He will make an unscheduled delivery to his brother. And we will be there to catch him. We have to go, or we will lose him. After what happened at the inn, I didn't think you'd visit the temple again. I came to watch for Sadao's brother, and mourn Clan Adachi's dead. Have you given your family a proper funeral? Not while their killers walk free. After my father died, I said goodbye to him that same night. It helped ease my pain. I buried them. That will have to do. For now. When's the last time you slept, or ate? I had some rice and fish yesterday. Even the youngest warrior needs a full belly and a rested sword arm. Are you calling me old, Lord Sakai? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. My sword arm works just fine. We should have caught up to Hachi by now. Which way do you think he went? Both roads look traveled. Let's search the area. He can't be far. Masako, look. The man with the cart. That's Hachi, Sado's brother. There it is. No, I just heard something. He's leaving me alone. We will follow. Close. But... Leaving. And we will follow. Close, but out of sight. Behave yourself, Ringo. Or no care for you when we're done. What nice weather for a walk. <laughs> Visitors. We can't let them see us. What do you have in your wagon? Food? Water? Other things? Sure. Uh, of course. We will promise that. Not yet, but I have something for your guests. It's a meeting. We'll pass it along. He handed them a note. I'll stop here again at the usual time. We'll meet you there. Forget the wagon. Follow those horses. Hey. Uh. 
That man is an idiot. He's the headman's brother. Still an idiot. But he has good sake. Not today. Today all he had was a note. <laughs> that note is more important than your life. If we fail to deliver, the headman will kill us. So those are family. <laughs> From a bad family? His cousins are bandits. Remember the riots that erupted when Kuta farmstead was sold on rice? Yes. Who do you think hired the bandits that slaughtered the protesters? Headman Sadov. Coward. I knew it. Right. So next time you think of the headman, remember the Kuta massacre. house, guarded by bandits. Sado's cousins. He must be hiding there. We don't know that. But we will soon find out. Corpses can't answer questions. There's someone in the house. I'll make them talk. Let me try first. <laughs> A note from Sadao. Hachi gave it to the guards. I'm not going to hurt you. My name is Sakai. Who are you? Hina, Sada's wife. My husband is innocent. The Mongols killed your family. Where is he? I, I don't know. You're lying. She'll help us. And she can't stay here. I'll take her to my estate. She is going to kill me. No harm will come to you.
will find a way. They'll kill us on sight. We got you out of Asmo Bay. <laughs> Jin, you made it! Why are these people outside the town walls? The Mongols have surrounded Yarikawa. No one can get in. Recruiting Lord Shimura's old rivals was never going to be easy. But now... Now they need allies too. Think about it. We help them drive off the Mongols, and they help us. I need their word before I fight for them. And we can't even get into the city. Yes, we can. There's a hidden entrance. From when we were children. Even if it's still there, we can't reach it. It's worth a try. I know a place we can scout for a way around the Mongol siege. Strange being back after so many years. Everywhere I look brings back memories. And try not to look so hard. Were you here when the Yarikawa rebellion broke out? No. We left years earlier. When we were children. Did your parents move you? Something like that. That doesn't sound good. They're heading for town. Let them pass. They're clear. This way. I don't want to see this. You've seen worse. But this was home. I had the same fears about returning to Omi village. But you have to face your past. Our home. Surrounded by the enemy. doesn't stand a chance. You know, where's the hidden entrance? See that river near the town walls? Get us that far, and I'll do the rest. We can't sneak past an army. And even if we find an entrance, what if the Mongols see us? We'll sentence the town to death. Taka, I stake my life on your metalwork. Now it's your turn to trust me. Yes, my lord. I don't see how we can make it to the river. We'll find a way. The walls won't keep this many Mongols out. Azamo Bay fell. Yarikawa will too. I know these people. They'll choose death before slavery. They'll take the fight to the Mongols. Draw them off. Please. No. Taka's right. Too risky. The hidden entrance used to be over there, behind that white tree. Let's hope the Mongols haven't found it. We just have to find a way through the camp. Once we reach the water, it should be easy to find the entrance without being spotted. That's our plan? Sneak through the biggest Mongol camp I've ever seen? Then hope the secret entrance we used as children is still there? Stay close, Tucker. Count on it. Let's go. 